Today, the death toll in Turkey's mine disaster grew to 283, with maybe 100 more still missing. The miners were trapped Tuesday by an explosion and fire. Protesters blamed the government for poor safety, and police blasted them today with water cannons. In Soma, they began to bury the dead, and Holly Williams is there. Fathers, husbands, brothers and sons. They all lost their lives to Turkey's worst ever mining accident. This small town is stricken by its grief. Some here seem unable to bear the anguish of their loss. But with more than 100 miners still unaccounted for and little hope they'll be found alive, they're already preparing for more funerals. We still don't know what the final death toll will be here in Soma. Every new body discovered in the mine means another fresh grave and another devastated family. At the mouth of the mine, Sevim Goshkun told us her son Ishmael is one of those trapped underground. I haven't slept for three days, she said. The mine company told me he's dead, but I want to see his body. And now Turkey's agony has turned to anger. Many here accuse their government of being too lax on safety standards and are demanding better working conditions in the country's mines. After visiting Soma yesterday, the Turkish Prime Minister Tayyip Erdogan was heckled by an irate crowd who called him a murderer and a thief before he was driven off. And these photos, which show one of the Prime Minister's aides kicking a protester during the same episode, have sparked outrage in Turkey. The government has promised a full investigation into what caused this disaster, but that won't bring back the men they're grieving in Soma. This accident and its aftermath have sparked protests in several Turkish cities. And Scott, the government here has responded by using water cannons to try to force the demonstrators off the streets. Holly Williams covering in western Turkey for us tonight. Holly, thank you.